My motorcycle has an electrical glitch on its clutch switch. In this video, let me explain to you what the clutch switch does and what you can do about it to fix it. In normal operating uh, procedure, when the kickstand is up and the motorcycle is in neutral and the ignition is on, when you press the starter button, the starter motor should crank the engine. Just like so. So that's so far flawless. What the clutch switch does is with the ignition on and the motorcycle in gear, like so, you should be able to start the motorcycle when the clutch is pulled. But in this case, it doesn't. It's a safety feature that if you stall the motorcycle in gear, for example, typically would be uh, at, a, at a stop line at an intersection or halfway through an intersection making a left turn, it's important that you be not stuck in the middle of the intersection, okay? It's an important safety feature that you should be able to start the motorcycle without switching it back the, to, to neutral and now it, now it works no matter what you do with the clutch. So, the clutch switch lives underneath, of course, the clutch lever. Let me just uh, make a little room here, like so. I'll get you off the high perch, so you can see we don't need ignition. So you can see this thing up close. The clutch switch has there these two wires leading to it and underneath the clutch lever here you'll see this connector there's nothing leading to it because I have removed the clutch switch so but the connector looks like so two pieces of wire leading to it it's gonna be important later there's nothing in the middle just empty space there so it's got two contact points it plugs into the clutch switch this is how the clutch switch looks like this is what you see from the underside these u-shaped holes are drain holes or weep holes so it's mounted this way if any water should get through the halves of the switch it can drain out on the underside and the wiring harness of course plugs into there all right and they, and they interlock there so the uh, later part of the video I take this one apart and we take a look at it I'll show you what went wrong inside it how this one works is fairly straightforward when the uh, when the clutch is pulled a pedal part on the clutch this part here keeps this plunger on it pressed in and when you pull the clutch like so that makes this plunger come forward like so okay you get the idea so that's how that's how this one works now <clears throat> because this unit is faulty what you can do if you have the same situation that you're unable to start the motorcycle in gear with the kickstand up with the ignition on and with the clutch lever pulled then what you can do is you can jump the clutch switch with a single piece of wire just like so it's very ugly but you can see that's why I chose yellow let me just put you back on the high perch here so ignition is on kickstand is up because there's another switch at the kickstand it's important so right now it's in neutral so the uh, starter motor is powered but if I put it in first gear and pull the clutch, it will work now. It will fire up the engine eventually. Now, why this is a safety feature is that because I jumped the connectors there, so it doesn't need the clutch lever to be pulled in order for this circuit to be closed. And what it does is that it's going to lurch the motorcycle forward. Not violently, but if you're not ready for it, you get surprised, like so, because the starter motor is driving the engine forward. You get the idea. So it's important that the that the clutch switch be in place 
or if you bypass it at least uh, you know what to expect so let's take a, a look at what's inside this clutch switch so this is how the switch looks like when it's removed from the motorcycle this is what you see the underside of it before it's removed it mounts with these two screws there is blue thread look applied on the screw threads so the screws don't just fly out make sure you clean the slots from the screw head before you put a tool on it so you don't crater it out making further removal impossible so I have of course taken it apart the plunger is out and the spring is out just so it doesn't fly apart in front of me and uh, this is where the connector plugs in there this, these two halves create the slot the connector has two wires leading into it and this is what's inside the switch the upper half there's not a lot to see in the upper half this pin there holds the spring like so and the plunger goes into it just about like so there okay and then it yeah and then it flies apart easily so you get the idea and on the plunger you have these three dimples on this copper plate this copper plate itself is also spring loaded like so to make positive contacts with these wire or uh, yeah with these copper plates on the bottom it's not clean I haven't cleaned it yet it's got dielectric grease on it in normal operation the plunger is here because the clutch lever is pushing the plunger in in this position what happens is that this dimple here and this dimple here makes contact with this plate here and this plate here and in that position the circuit is open that means there's no electricity flowing through it because the middle pin is not leading anywhere when the clutch lever is pulled this plunger slides forward and this dimple here and this dimple here making contact with this plate and this plate here close the circuit so electricity now can flow from here on this plate through the dimple and uh, onto the other dimple on the plunger out on this side closing the circuit because this is where the wires are leading to this one and this one so this is why it's possible that you've seen outside I just jumped the gap between the two two uh, two places in the connector with a single wire making the motorcycle fully functional but bypassing this plunger mechanism so this is what's inside it needs cleaning it hasn't changed much since uh, 2003 ZZR 600 possibly this switch and the plastic components uh, made by injection molding uh, comes off from the same assembly line from the same mold so it's problematic it wasn't really working on the ZZR 600 and there it is again giving me grief